Hey Libra, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. And this is your general tarot reading for my Libra Sun Rising and Venus placement. I hope you guys are all doing well. We're going to check you guys out and see what messages are coming in for you guys. If you enjoy these readings, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you are aware of when I drop these readings for you. All right, so messages for my Libras out there. You may be, in fact, dealing with a Libra. Please do take what resonates and leave the rest. If you want a personal tarot reading for yourself, all the details are in the description box. Your bonus extended for September. Well, that's up on the meal. All right, so let's jump right in. Libras in love. What is the biggest challenge for Libra? What are they facing all right, so Libra, the biggest challenge is the high priestess. So you may, in fact, be dealing with a Pisces. There could be someone that is keeping something from you. Um, you know, it could be secretive in nature. It could be someone who's very mysterious. But typically, it feels like with the high priestess, someone's lips are sealed. So maybe someone is unwilling uh, to talk about a particular situation or topic. It feels like you know that this, this is something that is hidden. I'm getting like the elephant in the room. Like, you know it. They know it. And that is the challenge, maybe addressing something that someone does not feel openly, um, openly wanting to express or feeling comfortable in expressing. All right, the high priestess can also be a secretive person. Maybe someone has someone even keeping a secret. Let's see how this all plays out. Libra, in the past, we have the six of wands in reverse, the world in reverse with the two of pentacles. It definitely feels like there was a lot of ups and downs, uncertainty with regard to a situation. It feels like something was left very uh, unstable. The world in reverse could be indicating of something here not moving in the right direction. There was a lot of setbacks and misfortunes, right? It feels like something was just stuck or stagnant and it was out of your control Libra. it feels like you couldn't do anything about it when a six of wands comes on reverse something has been left feeling like it has failed you in some way maybe you feel like the whole situation itself has been a failure you haven't been able to get someone's attention or recognition and that could be why the two of pentacles is here maybe someone is juggling you and someone else and Libra, you just don't feel like you're being seen you don't feel like you're being heard that, set, that Six of Wands of Earth could just feel like, again, an energy of just uh, not being able to get a victory with regard to a situation. So maybe you've been wanting this person's attention or wanting their commitment. And if they've been in this Two Pentacles energy juggling, well, that's not getting what you want. So this could be a fire sign you're dealing with. We also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, the current energy, Libra, we have the Five of Swords in reverse, Knight of Cups, and the Queen of Cups in a row. Some of you guys are dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Now, there is a love offer coming in. So, Libra, you know, there could be a love offer coming to you. Maybe someone wants to share their cup, make a heartfelt offer of love. It feels like someone may be doing it because they don't want to fight anymore. Someone's wanting to resolve an issue or just move away from fighting and arguing and tension and drama. Because the Five of Swords in verse, it's like someone is feeling quite defeated by it. I feel you both are feeling defeated by it. You both are feeling some kind of conflict or stress coming from some kind of disagreement. Um, give me the energy of Libra. Libra, your energy is the king of swords. Inverse, that's your energy. Some of you guys, you're just not communicating very effectively. Maybe you're upset with someone. Maybe you turned your back. This is typically um, someone here who, who just could be angry and can come out, come out in terms of how they express themselves as being angry or cold or detached. Ace of Cups, Inverse. Some of you guys, you just may be upset. Ace of Cups, Inverse. Uh, it could be a falling out maybe due to a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. Some of you guys, there was a falling out or a missed opportunity with whoever you're dealing with because of a third party, Leo, Sag, Aries. Queen of Wands, if I'm not doing a fire sign reading, typically is the other person. So was this person keeping uh, a third party a secret? That's what it makes me feel. Because the Ace of Cups in reverse, uh, <laughs> King of Swords in reverse, you guys are not talking to someone because you feel like it's their fault for sabotaging this relationship and it feels like it's because of someone else being in the picture this could have been a passionate connection outside of what they had with you we do have two feminine energies queen of cups and queen of wands all right in the foundation your person ten of cups in a verse nine of cups in a verse king of pentacles and eight of swords 
All right, so we definitely have someone who is very deeply unhappy. There's the energy of feeling emotionally unfulfilled. This could be that Queen of Cups energy. Again, it could be a water sign. It doesn't have to be. But there's a lot of uh, unfulfillment, right? There's an the energy of I'm not happy. This isn't what I wanted. It feels like someone is very, very in their emotions right now because of something here that has come to an end, tens or endings. It could be a family or home situation. It also feels like with the Nine of Cups, this is someone that could have been very selfish. They, they wanted their cake and eating it too. And as a result, they were left with nothing. The Eight of Swords is here. So this is definitely someone that's been in their head. I do think that it has to deal with you, Libra. There's a lot of anxieties and fears of like what's to come, what is going to happen. Because it feels like this is someone who's in a puddle of water. So they made a mess, okay? And they're blinded. They don't know what to do now. Their hands are tied. They're not sure of what to, to do or what they can do. King of Pentacles could be this person is looking towards some kind of stability. They may be wanting to restructure things or figure things out so that it's more stable and more secure. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. As far as the outcome, we have the full in reverse. We have the Five of Cups. And the Four of Wands. Some of you guys are dealing with your twin flame. It's leading me to believe that there are some major trust issues coming into the near future regarding you and this person. Aries energy. Someone may be certainly wanting you to take a leap of faith and put yourself out there for this new beginning. They are feeling quite ashamed, feeling guilty, feeling regretful for something they may have done. There's a lot of sorrow here. Again, a lot of cups indicating of someone is very much in their emotions for you. But it feels like someone wants a new beginning to try to reach some kind of stability, security, home, peace, okay? Especially like this is like domestic harmony. If you have a family with this person, this is someone that wants to come together for family uh, togetherness, okay? This partnership, companionship. All right, so let's jump right in. Let's see what else we can find out. Libra, if this is your reading, like, share, comment, subscribe. All right, let's try it with the high priestess. Let's see what that high priestess is all about. The secret. Maybe you already know what that secret is. And that is the challenge. Crossing it is the Eight of Pentacles in the verse. So there definitely was something that may have came out, and that could be the challenge, a secret, something that you didn't know about. And it could now affect the way that you're contributing. You know, some of you guys, the Eight of Pentacles in the verse is that you may feel like something just isn't worth it anymore. You may feel like you don't know what you can do anymore. Maybe you feel like you can't change the situation. It feels like you're no longer investing in something or you no longer believe in it or find it of value. Give me the world and the verse and the six of wands. Definitely was some kind of betrayal. Three of Swords, Queen of Wands. Could have been related to a Queen of Wands, uh, Leo Sag Aries, third party. It feels like there definitely was a separation, an ending that left you feeling devastated. I mean, this is like you being stabbed in the back. You had no idea that this was coming. It may have taken you by surprise. And it could explain why something was not victorious. I feel that third party could have been the big secret that came out. Two of Pentacles. Someone was definitely juggling or playing around. The star in a verse and six of wands in a verse. So something here was not victorious because someone literally just gave up. It feels like with the star in a verse, they really had no reason. At one point, maybe they thought this was con uh, this connection was special. It was sacred. It was something that they never experienced before. But then it almost feels like, well, the next moment they go out and do something that <laughs> sabotages it. So with the six of wands in a verse, something, something has definitely ended, but also feels like they failed you. Two pentacles, again, it could be juggling here. Juggling, going on, going back and forth. Because someone just gave up or just no longer felt the same way. So give me the energy of... Yeah, we have the five of swords. So give me the five of swords. Why is this energy of the five of swords? Someone doesn't want to fight anymore. Yeah, because something is became has become very burdensome. Ten of wands and a magician. There's the energy of, it's like, this is too much now. I never expected this to happen. Ten of wands is more than what I can handle. Something has come to an end and it feels very difficult and burdensome. And now it's kind of like, well, I want change. This isn't what I want. This isn't what I signed up for. The magician, Gemini energy, you could be going through some kind of big change yourself. But Libra, it feels like someone is now wanting to manifest some kind of new beginning, new opportunity after an ending with the Ten of Wands. That is why the Knight of Cups is coming in. So someone here may be wanting to extend themselves, offer their cup, express their love for you. Because it does feel like the Five of Swords, that could be a means on how to resolve an issue, right? How to manifest some kind of change here. Give me the Knight of Cups. What do we need to know about the Knight of Cups? Is this even genuine? 
Yeah, the death and the five of pentacles in reverse. So someone is coming in with a love offer because they want to bring some kind of change, transformation to the connection. Death is like, I'm willing to let go of something completely. I'm willing to transform my way of thinking, my perspective, the way I act, the way I behave, the way I show up. Five of pentacles in reverse, another reason why this person is coming in with a love offer is because they now want to get out of the cold. They're tired of being alone. Some of you guys are left feeling deprived of something or they're feeling in this place of lack or at a complete loss without you. Queen of Cups in verse is definitely telling me this person is going through some kind of emotional loss, okay, in their life. Scorpio energy and Gemini. Your energy, King of Swords in a verse. Some of you may feel like this person has lied to you or been very dishonest. Queen of Cups came out again. Whoever this person is, you may also feel like they've been very manipulative. Like they've been trying to manipulate you to get what they want. So when I see the hangman, Piscean energy, Libra, you may be having to really stop and think about something, right? Really think about why this ended, Ace of Cups in verse, why there was a falling out to begin with. You may be having to look at a situation very differently. Maybe there is a misunderstanding, right? It feels like with the hangman, you're having to reflect, to think, um... And again, look at it from a different point of view. Give me the Queen of Wands. This, again, could be a third party. It doesn't have to be. Two of Cups in a verse and a Knight of Wands. Some of you guys, someone here may have certainly made a mistake if this is a third party because it has Two of Cups in reverse resulted in an ending between two lovers. Uh, two really strong um, soul a soul connection, right? Two, two really strong um, energies here. Knight of Wands is here. It does feel like this person wasn't thinking. They may have been acting on their passionate <laughs> desires, being selfish. Knight of Wands is a very immature energy. Someone here just wasn't really thinking. That's what it looks like to me. So let's take a look at why this person is so deeply emotional. Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups could be a family home situation. Some of you guys, the family has come to an end or, or been separated or divided. And that is something here they miss the most. The chariot and the six of cups in a verse. So some of you guys, you definitely have a child together. And that could be something here they miss. They remember their thinking of times, memories together with a family or as a family. And it feels like they want movement. They want victory. They want change. The chariot is wanting to be successful in some way, okay? Now, this chariot is making me feel like someone here is willing to do the work. They're willing to take on a challenge. This could be a cancer you're dealing with. Give me the eight of swords. What are they feeling stuck and tight about? in their head four of cups and the two of pentacles so what's what's eating this person up the most is the fact that they were very indecisive about you that they took you for granted the two of pentacles they didn't know what they wanted and so as a result they made a bad decision and chose someone else over you and had a missed opportunity with you so now they're thinking about that everything that they've lost because of their bad decision making two of pentacles it's like if only they saw your value then they wouldn't be in this juggling energy so that is what they're in their head about and it is concerning you now they're feeling at a complete loss like how can i even get back in libra's life how is that even going to work so give me the full card you know wanting a new beginning two of swords they may be having to cut something out first there could be a big decision that will be made in the near future regarding you and this person libra it may be you having to make this decision libra that's what it makes me feel because that is your energy and it feels like that's why the fool is in reverse you may not trust this person entirely. So that could be why the Two of Swords is a crossroads here. You're going to have to decide if this is something you even want. Five of Cups, there is some sadness with regard to this past situation. Five of Swords. It's almost like, will this person just bring more chaos to my life? Will they bring more um, drama? And Because that's not what you want. It feels like you're going to be at a crossroads, Libra, because you're really having to decide if the past is worth going back to or not. Because there's an opportunity for wands to have peace and harmony, but would that mean going back to this person or not? You will have to decide. Um, Ten of Cups in the verse. Some of you guys are also having to make a big decision, especially if it's regarding family, because we have the four wands. This could be someone that maybe you thought you'd be married to or someone that you were previously or are married to. That can make this decision very, very complicated. And there could be literally a decision, you know, which way do I go? I want to be with my family. I want to save the family. I want to save my marriage. But I also want to do what's going to make me happy, right? So you have a big decision to make Libra coming into the near future regarding what you want and how you want to move forward. So Libra, like, share, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed these readings and have a beautiful weekend. Your extended bonus reading is up on Vimeo for September and I am available for personal tarot readings. All right, you guys, take care. Bye.